ever since I was really, really young, I think my first computer was an Apple IIe, and I just was fascinated by it. And then I learned you can program it. I can make the computer do things. So ever since I was 10, 11, I learned what computer science was. I knew that was my, the thing I wanted to do in life. So you finish college, you think, I finally know it all. I've learned from the best. I am ready. I can go conquer any sort of programming. Then you get to the real world and you find out, well, actually, no, that's not true either. There's knowledge you need to learn from books, but practical experience is invaluable. If I'm interested in something, I just dive into it and then I dive some more and I find out everything there is to know about that. Then I kind of zoom out and see where can I use this in real life and then apply it. To me, that's the key to being a good engineer. And they never show that. They never teach you that in school where, oh yeah, you get your degree and then you program nine to five, you go home. No, every single good engineer that you've ever heard of, I guarantee they go home and they, they work, they study. So that when it comes time to learn new things, they know all about it already. And that to me is my road to mastery for any sort of technology. Uh, my inspiration for teaching was actually Brian Holt. I had seen some of his classes, I actually audited a few online and I thought, wow, he's, he's really good at this. He showed me some of the messages that he got and said, wow, Brian, you, you changed my life. And wow, you really did such an amazing job. And I thought, that's incredible. That that's, must be a good feeling. So I started teaching for front end masters and it's been a really rewarding experience. The fact that I can share some knowledge and also learn some myself because I have to do some, a deep dive to understand the material. And then I zoom all the way out and I say, as a front end engineer, what would I wanna know if I was taking the class? That's how I teach and that's kind of what motivates me to teach is I learn something, but I get to teach people too. I'd say teaching for front end masters has definitely impacted my career. Someone just messaged me on Twitter or sent me a random email saying, Jim, I really love your course. When's part two coming out? Or I might actually meet people if they're in San Francisco. I hang out with them sometimes. And to find out that later they went from junior engineer to senior engineer, and they're now have like full-time dream jobs that they've always wanted. And the fact that I've had like even a small part in helping them is really rewarding. To me, it's the superior platform over a lot of other content platforms and learning platforms because Front of Masters focus on quality and not quantity. The fact that they pull teachers from all walks of life from East Coast, to West Coast, and a wide variety of expertise means that the ability to log in and see something that Estelle's working on or Brian or something like that, that they've done a deep dive in technology and can extract the good parts for me, means that I can just go home, log in, see what's new in front end development, and then learn what they have to say. And then I can apply that to my own career.